Oh, I saw your car drive in. I thought I'd pop in and say welcome home from Vermont. Ah. So how was snow-covered Vermont? Cold. <laughs> well, all the advanced reviews say that uh, Pierce was a hit. How far does that radar stretch? <laughs> well, Blaze and Zoe Carson caught the show. Zoe is an art critic now? Well, I think she was more impressed with the artist. In fact, she says that uh, Pierce is, is sincere and warm and strong. And <laughs> that's all she could talk about. She said he was like a welcome breath of fresh air. Zoe doesn't know him. I mean, I barely know him. Are you all right, dear? Yes. I'm sorry, it's just, I think it's the, the trip. We were on the go constantly. We were greeting people. We were... Did Janet Green strike again? Jenna is fine. I don't know what you expected. Did you expect I was going to come back here and I was going to bask in the glow of Pierce's success like some giddy teenager? You know, I enjoy Pierce. We share an interest in art and we share an interest in Laura Kirk. And basically, other than that, he is a stranger to me. Oh, now, Brooke, I've seen the two of you together. Well, I think your romantic imagination is a little overactive. Well, I just think that Pierce would be, well, he's so simple, direct, and uncomplicated. He'd make... You know, so different from... From Adam? Aunt Phoebe, Pierce is a good man. Adam is a good man, too. You are feverish. Listen, I can recall every dirty trick that Adam has ever played. I know that he is selfish, that he is self-centered, that he is... that he is manipulative, that he can be cruel, that he can be aggravating. Well, thank heavens I was afraid you'd left your good sense behind in Vermont. I also know that he can be generous and, and sweet and kind and supportive. And even at his worst, he touches a place in me that no other man ever has. Oh, I had so hoped you'd be over that monster. You know, every year, on the day that Laura died, I, um, I go to her school. You know, they have all that playground equipment that was donated after she passed away. You remember the, uh, the dedication ceremony? Anyway, I, I, they have all these landscape little plots, a different one for each grade, and I go and I watch the kids play. And, uh, one year I went, and it was a little earlier than usual. It was before school started. And Adam was there on his hands and knees. He was, he was clearing away the weeds and leaves from this little white rose bush by the entrance. That's the monster that I fell in love with twice in my life. That anonymous benefactor who has given so much enjoyment to children, he doesn't, he, he children he's never even met. I mean, in, in memory of Laura. I didn't mean to interfere, honestly. I just thought that Pierce would be a welcome change of pace. It's all right. You just don't have to run Adam down, all right? I know he can be aggravating. I know he can... This is all his fault. He just... He had to issue an ultimatum, all or nothing. I don't know why he couldn't leave well enough alone, you know? I don't... I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know what to do. Well, why don't you... Hi. <clears throat> you coming at a bad time? Huh. Well, two guests and I haven't even unpacked yet. <laughs> I should have called, but uh, I needed to see you. Could we have some time alone? Aunt Phoebe, would you mind? I'll be right by the phone if you need me. Thank you. Thank you. Brooke, I'm sorry. 
I pumped you and Pierce on the flight back home, trying to catch you in a lie. It was a stupid trick, and I... I'm sorry. It's over. I think you know how much I love you. And that ridiculous ultimatum I gave you was one of the biggest mistakes of my life, and I would like to take it back, if you'll let me. Brooke, please give me an... Give us another chance. Brooke, I think you know how much I love you. That ridiculous ultimatum I gave you was one of the biggest mistakes of my life, and I want to take it back if I can. If you'll let me. Brooke, please, give me... Give us... another chance. They must be hearing things. Please, I was wrong. Now you admit it? What? You hardly ever admit that you are wrong. I hardly ever am wrong. But I was wrong with you. Adam, where is this coming from? From my heart. I want your forgiveness. Look, I was stupid and impatient. And now I'm filled with remorse. Do you believe me? That's part of the problem. I always believe you. Every time you make a promise to me, I always think that you mean it. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. But I have loved you since the first time you ever kissed me. I've never wait, stopped. Wait, wait a minute. I first kissed you? We kissed each other. I didn't kiss you first, all right? I never start things, Adam. You are the one who started this. Fine, you want to give me the credit? I will take it gladly and proudly. You made my life deeper and richer. You taught me love. <laughs> Real love. And I keep screwing it up. Please don't agree with me. Just tell me that you love me in spite of my flaws. I love you in spite of your flaws. Ending our relationship was not my choice. It was yours. Well, my damn pride. It uh, trips me up more than anything. Oh, more than your greed. More than the firm conviction that you are the center of the universe. <sighs> Guilty as charged. You know what you said to me, Adam? You said, marry me or else. All or nothing. Take it back. I swear I will accept with good grace whatever you give me. I will eat humble pie. I'll wear a hair shirt. I'll fall down on my knees and scramble across broken glass. If only you'll tell me that we can forget this ever happened. What about promising to spend the rest of your life making it up to me? That too. Unconditional surrender. Whatever you want. No strings. However you want it, that's the way it'll be. Why are you smiling? No, never mind. Don't answer. I know that I've uh, said all these things before, but I mean it this time. I swear. I swear I'll control myself. If you say to me, Adam, I can't have dinner with you tonight because I have to work, I will say, darling, you go right ahead. You work well. You make it shine. And I'll call you later when you have more time. On my word of honor. Brooke, I've never meant anything more in my life. Just tell me that there's nothing standing in the way of us getting back together. Well? Is there? You've already told me you love me. It's just a simple step to forgive and forget. Simple. Look me in the eye. Look in my eyes. These eyes have never been able to lie to you and get away with it. I love you. I need you. Name your terms. Why couldn't you have said all this to me before? Actually, I have said this to you many times before. The problem is I keep forgetting it, but now it is engraved permanently. And the next time that I forget, and think I own you, 
then I'll remember that I don't, that you're your own woman, you're independent, who chooses, maybe chooses, to be with only me. I do love you. One more chance, Brooke. You are so... There's one more chance. Prove that we can do it. I should have my head examined. You forgive me? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes! Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. Are we back? Hey, look at me. Are we back together? It's on my terms. At your terms, any terms. I'm going to make you happier than ever before in your entire life. I swear I will. I never wanted you out of my life. I have loved you too much and too long to ever have that happen. It's... I just... I just couldn't let you take control of my life. And I'm never going to let that happen again. Do you understand me? Yes, absolutely. Never. Positively. Positively. I, I swear I will never mention the word marriage. I won't even, I won't even whisper it when I, in your ear when we're making love. And I promise I will respect your need for self-rule, for self-sovereignty. Whatever feminist principle that you live by, I, I will back you all the way. I swear to God. I hope you have lightning insurance. <laughs> I love every independent inch of you. I, I, I always will. Say you love me. I love you. <laughs> no. No, why? Why not? Because it's, <clears throat> it's broad daylight. Come on, I have a million things to do. I haven't even unpacked yet. What is so funny? <laughs> Nothing, not the darn thing. Can I, can I call you later when the, when the sun is a little closer to the yard? You may. You're going to change your mind. You have my word. Your word is good enough for me. Thank you. Every word I said came from you. I know. Later. <laughs> <laughs>